good day students have you ever felt like you want to be a star or you just want to let your light shine just like one this is sir clint and for our lesson today we will be learning about constellations twinkle When was the last time you heard or recited this song or poem? In grade school, you studied about stars. And perhaps one of the things that surprised you in school was your teacher's statement that our sun is a star. That means that those little stars that twinkle like diamonds in the sky are not really small. They are powerful balls of flaming gases that emit electromagnetic waves in all directions. Are the stars same in size, color, or are they equally bright? Here are some of the questions about stars. When we look at the sky, we see thousands of stars. In reality, there are approximately 400 billion stars in our galaxies, and there are about 170 million of galaxies. The sun is only about 150 million kilometers away, and it takes only 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the sunlight to reach our world. Its diameter is about 1.4 million kilometers, 100 times of the Earth. But yet, it is only a medium-sized star. Many other stars are much, much bigger. A star is a natural luminous body visible in the sky especially at night. It is a huge sphere of very hot glowing gas. Stars are made of hydrogen and helium gas. Stars are the most widely recognized astronomical objects and represent the most fundamental building blocks of galaxies. A star can be defined by five basic characteristics, namely brightness, color, surface temperature, size, and mass. So let's talk about them one by one. Let's have first the brightness. The brightness of a star depends upon its size and temperature. A large star shines brighter than a small star. A hot star shines brighter than a cool star. On the other hand, brightness of a star is also related with the distance from the Earth to the star. A star's apparent brightness is the brightness you see from the Earth. A hot, large star that is very far from Earth does not look very bright. A star's absolute brightness is the brightness of the star would have if all stars were the same distance from Earth. Now, let us have the color and temperature. Star color ranges from red to blue. The color of a star indicates its surface temperature. Let us see the table that shows the surface temperature and the color of different nearby stars including the sun. Take a good look. As you can see, the coolest star appears red and the hottest star appear in blue color. Next, we have size. Many of the stars in the skies are the same size as our sun or a medium-sized star. White dwarf stars are about the size of the planet Earth. Red giants and super giants are large enough to fill our solar system all the way to Jupiter. Now, let's have the mass. Stars have a life cycle that depends on the initial mass of the star. Low mass stars or small stars survive for billions of years. These small stars die quietly and in their place, a small white dwarf is left behind. High mass stars or large stars survive for a few million years. These large stars die in a supernova explosion and in their place, a black hole is left behind. To sum it up class, scientists believe that all stars came from huge clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. The color of the star indicates its surface temperature. Blue is the color of the hottest star. The brightness of a star as observed from the Earth relies upon two variables, 
distance and the actual brightness or the absolute brightness of the star in general the more massive a star is the hotter its surface next try to look at the night sky can you see images of animals objects or people when stars are grouped together they are called constellation an imaginary pattern of stars the stars that make up a constellation appear close to each other from the Earth. In reality, they may be very distant from one another. Many of these constellations have names that can be traced back to early Babylonian and Greek civilizations, but nearly all cultures have different names for the constellation. This is called Orion the Hunter. The Greeks called the large constellation Orion the Hunter, which means Hunter is prominent in the night sky all over the world during winter. In Christian Filipinos, Orion's Belt, the stars are named Tatlong Maria or Tres Marias. This is the Taurus constellation. During summer in the Philippines, the constellation of Orion and Taurus are not visible at night. They will be visible again as the cold season begins. Ever wonder why constellations are not seen at certain months? The revolution is responsible for the fact that we can see different parts of the sky at different parts of the year. As the Earth revolves around its orbit, the stars that were sealed by the bright light of the sun in the previous months will appear in the sky. There are 88 constellations recognized by IAU or International Astronomy Union. To sum it up class, some constellations appear and disappear in the night sky throughout the year due to the revolution of the Earth. Furthermore, if you observe the stars and constellation for at least one to two hours, you will notice that the constellation appears to move across the night sky from east to west. This daily change in position is due to the rotation of Earth on its axis from west to east. Just like the stars shining bright above, we should also remember to keep our light shine now and forever. And that ends our lesson today about constellations. This has been Sir Clint, still saying, continue to feed your curiosity in science.